How you doing, Mega Family? This is Tony, the Coconut Wizard, and today I'm going to review a fun little game called Body Bite Land Overclocked. Body is a 3D platformer adventure game developed by Purple Ray Studio and published by Untold Tales Couch Play Interactive. You play as the data bot, Body, as you run, jump, double jump, glide, and dash your way through multiple worlds within a computer, so it doesn't look like you're in a computer because you see lots of trees and water and land, but suspend your disbelief, and you'll travel with two companions, zero and one, who provide guidance and banter throughout the adventure. This game feels super nostalgic. Even though I've never played this game before, it feels familiar to me. Part of me wishes that this was a web-based game back when I was a computer teacher. I mean, how do we know that this isn't what the inside of a computer looks like? Have you ever been inside a hard drive trying to save the CPU from glitches and viruses? I don't think so. That may also be why I'm not a computer teacher anymore, because I believe things like that. Anyway, the game itself has wonderful, colorful, cartoony graphics, and it runs very smoothly on my Steam Deck. The music and sound are spot on for the theme. There are lots of computer-based puns and humor, which the dad in me approves for my future dad joke arsenal. It's definitely family-friendly, and it has a great little co-op mode where you can join right in with a friend of yours and play together through the main worlds. Aside from the run and jump platforming side of the game as well, there's extra little bits that you can find out. And there are some little detours that feel like minigames, including a long slide where you collect data bits like a Guitar Hero-esque rhythm game. By the way, I found myself repeating that slide over and over again to try to get all the bits, which the game encourages, and my companion Zero at the bottom made it a point to mention, almost got the trophy, in a bored, mocking tone, which infuriated me. Also in this game, you have a hub world. This hub world, you can do most things that you can do in a hub world, like choose your level, change your body's look with some skins that you found in the levels, and spend some of the bits that you collect within the levels to expand the hub to include practice areas and places to lounge around. Now, while I enjoy playing and reviewing Body, I don't see myself coming back to play it once it's complete. I mean, it's one of those types of games that, yeah, it's simple, it's short, it's fun, it's a good stress reliever, but once you earn all the bits and find all the discs and the code and all the things that you're trying to collect in each level, I don't see much of a reason to come back. And it's not too difficult to do all that. Like I said, the gameplay is reminiscent to games like Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank in the gameplay vibe, minus the weapons in the clear-cut plot. It's a very cute game, but cute can only take you so far just ask my kids. All in all, I would recommend waiting for a sale to pick this game up, but if you enjoy cute platformers with, you know, colorful 3D graphics and annoying sidekick banter, which you can toggle off, by the way, and it doesn't take a long time to complete, pick up Body. It's currently available on Steam. The console versions are coming soon. It's a no-brainer, especially if your kids want to learn how to play a simple platformer, so give it a try, but I would say wait for a sale. Thanks for watching my review. For more awesome content, check out Mega Dads on our YouTube channel and wherever podcasts are found. Take it easy, Mega Family.